Helen, the floor is yours. Thank you. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. All right. I'm Helen Montgomery. I was the chair of ShyCon 8 in 2022. Um, and I am here to give you what is basically our final report um, as we will, in fact, be closing our corporation by the end of this year. Yay. So, <laughs> um, so when um, we did submit a financial report to Chengdu, some of you probably saw that in, as part of the business meeting agenda, um, we miraculously ended up with money after the convention. None of us actually expected that. Um, <laughs> Um, when we went into the convention, we had $20,000 of contingency that was actually covered. Um, but somehow we ended up with well over $100,000 in profit. So, yeah. So we were able to do partial reimbursements. We chose to do partial reimbursements because had we reimbursed everyone in full, we would have had basically nothing for pass along and other grants. And that was definitely part of our, our mission, um, our purpose, right, was to make sure that we could continue to pass on to, to Spanish groups, especially because so many groups have been hit so hard by the pandemic. So, um, so we chose instead to do partial reimbursements. We did give people the option that they could decline the reimbursement, and then that money would just feed into the pass along pool. And we had about 250-ish people who chose to do that, who declined, um, who declined it. And we gave out 600-ish, I think. I'm looking at Alexia-ish. 659 uh, reimbursements. So when everything was done, um, we had uh, $109,240.23. We chose to put $2,023 to make our accounting easier. Um, basically that's going to be used to continue to pay for QuickBooks until we finish next year's taxes as, as well as paying for some internet things like, you know, domains and, and that kind of jazz for the next um, X years, however long that money lasts. So, so when that was done, we were left with $107,000 and $107,240. The voting members of the corporation met this past Tuesday. We um, and we approved um, pass along funds and other grants. So um, Ben, Esther, and Kathy, would you all like some money? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, we have agreed that each of those three world cons will be receiving eighteen thousand dollars from us. <laughs> And that is that is basically the round up from the fifty percent um, that we did. Um, other grants that we did, um, we will be giving seven thousand dollars each to Capricon and WindyCon, um, which are the local Chicago conventions that provided us so much support. Um, so they will each get seven k. We will be giving $5,000 to the Worldcon Heritage Organization. And we will be putting, um, and, and the exact how this will work is still a little up in the air, but we will be setting aside $5,000 to give to the next Chicago Worldcon bid that files. <laughs> so you can't just start it and get the money. You got to go all the way to the end. <laughs> we gave a... Um, <laughs> I can buy a beer. All right. I went for 32. All right. We gave, um, we then had six grant requests that came to us. Um, we gave $1,100 to this SMOFCON. We gave $2,000 to the Video Archaeology Project, which is headed up by Jerry Sullivan. We gave $1,000 to Richard Mann's World Builders of SF project, $3,000 to the Science Fiction Outreach Project. We gave $4,000 to this uh, to MassFic, which did this year's World Fantasy Convention to help them cover some of their unexpected costs. Um, 
And we gave $2,000 to the Baltimore Science Fiction Society to help them with their library accessibility project. We also then did four additional grants um, that nobody had talked to us, but we said, hey, we should do these anyway. Um, we are giving 3,500 to FANAP. We are um, belatedly, we, we couldn't give it to them before it, um, but we know that they still need it to cover costs. We are giving $4,000 to PEMICON, this year's NASFIC. And we will also, is the chair of the Buffalo NASFIC here? Uh, okay. Um, hopefully you would also like some money because we're also giving you $4,000. And finally, um, after Shikun 7, we um, created the Peggy Ray Sapienza Endowment at Northern Illinois University, uh, which is basically an archive um, of Fanish things. And so we are also going to be donating $4,500 to that endowment. So all told, um, we had... We have given away then, um, not counting pass along, we have given away $53,100. Um, and as I said, we're, we're setting a little bit aside just to cut like that 2K to just cover the last bits and bobs um, electronically. And then the corporation, we voted on Tuesday and we will in fact be closing the corporation down by the end of this year, file our taxes next year and we are done. So, that is my report. If anybody has questions about it, feel free to come up to me later. And if you're in the room and you are somebody who has been given a grant or money, Alexia will be Stand happy up. will be happy to assist you in getting that money. <laughs> so for those remote, there is somebody standing up waving a bag that says Shikon on it. So. Yes. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks, Helen.